Hi everyone, this is Diran P N Sierra. I know this has launched the DDR5 memory for almost one year, and more and more customers are requesting for sample and small quantity testing. I would like to share with you three application stories with you today. Just a quick recap of our DDR5 features. The new technologies that DDR5 introduced, such as double bank groups, same bank refresh on .ECC, and dual subchannels are being utilized in industrial computers that can push the limits of speed, capacity, and reliability in professional environments. Enodus currently offers the most comprehensive range of industrial-grade DDR5 solutions on the market, including UDIM, SOLDIM, ARDIM, ECC, and wide temperature series. These memory modules also include Enodisk other industrial focused features, such as a 30 mu gold finger, an anti suffocation technology that adds a protective layer to safeguard silver LOs found on DRAM modules. Our first client is a global company that designs and manufactures workstations for engineering, product design, architecture, data science, and VFX. One of the field is animation industry, like Disney and Warner Brothers are their clients. The requirements of workstation is virtualize the model with the most intuitive precision process. They decide to use Enodisk 48832G DDR5 Uden for their workstation computers and was able to benefit from DDR5 increased bandwidth, better power efficiency, and higher memory capacity. Stability is also one of the crucial factors. Take Elsa in Frozen, for example. She has 400,000 hairs. And all this DDR5 memory can present a very stable performance and push the limits of speed, capacity, and reliability of the workstation. The second case is Edge System in China. They were doing business with Micron directly, but the price and supply is unstable at testing stage, so they decide to go with Enodisk. Because it's a government beating, so they request for fixed bomb longevity support for more than three years, which we can fully support. Edge computing need to deal with massive data and cannot afford any data lost or single bit error. With Enodisk DDR5 RDIM, customers don't need to worry about this problem due to the extra layer of protection through IC level checking that DDR5's on ECC provides. The third case I would like to share is Level 2 Autonomous Driving System. These customers have been deeply involved in vehicle market for many years. The environment that self-driving vehicles are facing is very harsh, not to mention the extra high and low temperature, but also need to overcome the heat generated by the high-speed computing. Customers can easily defect these challenges by choosing Enodisk DDR5 ECC wide temperature series. All our DDR4 and DDR5 series are free upgraded with anti separation features to improve protection and prevent corrosion. We also passed US military standards in thermal shock and vibration testing. Besides DDR5, I would like to share with you two award winning news for our DDR4 ultra temperature memory. This is a whole new memory temperature spec, ranging from minus 40 to 125 degree. We have successfully spec in more than 20 cases in worldwide. So please help us to promote this product to customers who concerns about temperature range and have strict criteria for memory quality. The first one is best in show in 2022 in beta world. 
the judges believe the temperature constraint is an increasingly problem as modern designs become more and more compact, where heat generating, intensive computing, and data processing in closed insulation spaces. Ultra temperature memory eradicates these issues in one step, going beyond the typical industrial grade temperature range to support from minus 40 to 125. The series opens the door for new industrial applications, such as self-driving applications, fanless and beta system, and the mission critical field. We feel proud and honored to accept the most innovative memory technology award at Flush Memory Summit for our ultra temperature memory, and would like to extend our appreciation for the amazing work done by the product development and management team of DRAM modules. That's all for today. Let me know if you have any questions.